evening. Wait for somebody to show up. Hey, it seems like it's been like forever. Hey, Shannon, it's been forever since I've done a live like this, crafty live. I'm so ready. Tell you what, <laughs> got a new technique. I mean, you know, when you're sitting around, you can watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> so, I learned this new technique, and I learned it from, let me see if I can remember her name. I met her when I was in North Carolina for On Stage. I had been watching her videos, and I talked to her. Flitter D. D. <laughs> I can't remember her name. When I remember her name, when it dawns on me what her name is, I'll tell you. I just can't remember it at the moment. Okay, this is not gonna be this is not gonna be real real long unless I run my mouth a lot. But anyway, we are going to be using the well done and uh the punch because I'm going to do a couple of wells. I'm going to use the well and I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to use uh, well done on the front and you're kind of a big deal on the inside and I'm going to be using the uh, label me fancy punch. I'm going to be using some of these um, Epoxy, so I'm going to use the frosted ones. I'm going to use some DSP from the uh, Playing with Patterns DSP. You'd think I'd be using the ones from the Well Done, wouldn't you? And I'm going to be using this one pattern right here. And uh, our card base. I am so rusty on this. <laughs> you don't have this one? Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love the, uh, I love all of the, I love the whale. <laughs> the whale's my favorite. I like the seahorse. I can remember I had an aunt and uncle when I was real little. They had an aquarium. This is before they moved to Florida. I don't know if they had, I can't remember. If, I don't think they had it when they was in Florida. And they had seahorses and I got so fascinated with, by them. And so I really wanted that. And I haven't even, this is the first card I have made from this set. And uh, this is not what I wanted to use to make this new technique, but it's the only one that I, I really liked once I got to messing with it and thought that's what I'm going to use. Okay, I have cut, let me find my list here. <laughs> I've cut my DSP down to, uh, I know where it's at. Okay, it's five and eighth by three and seven eighths. I have two pieces of those. I have one piece of Whisper White. Hi, Lynn. Uh, this is just regular Whisper White, and I've cut it at the same size because I'm going to attach this uh, one piece of this uh, DSP to it to make it a little more sturdy for what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I want to scamp the front sentiment sentiment on that and I'm going to punch it out with the label me fancy. This is where the inside sentiment is going to go. Uh, I'm going to stamp my wells on that. And we have our envelope. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get started. I have got my seaweed not very well mounted on a d block my wells on a d block and my inside sentiments on a c and my front one is on a b we're using a uh, memento tuxedo black for the sentiments excuse me i'm going to use soft sea foam for the seaweed and my well's going to be costa cabana and of course Sharon cannot make a card and go live without forgetting something. 
I don't know why. This is just so silly. Okay. There's no post sticker pop. Sheesh. How in the world I ever manage anything? <laughs> Here and I thought, oh, I'm so ready. And I wasn't. Hi, Mona. How are you? That's what I thought too, um, Shannon. I thought it was perfect because it looks watery, you know. And so I thought oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let me see. Um, my Costa Cabana is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So I'm going to cut these down and cut it down to. F Wait a minute. I'm not going to do that. I'll go five and an eighth first. <laughs> Let me go five and an eighth first. I did this when I was designing this card, and, and I'm totally messed it up. And here I was just going to do that again, and totally mess it up. And uh, oh man, that was five and three eighths, and I did it five and an eighth. Excuse me, I'm not with the program tonight. <laughs> so. We're going to try this again. <laughs> Five and three eighths. Right here. Okay. <laughs> Four and an eighth. Right? Yeah, I have to look. Make sure I'm looking at properly so I can cut this. Okay. <laughs> now then. So now y'all know what size that is, since I had to recut it to know the size. All right. And, uh, so that's going to be our first layer. And then this will go on top of this. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these together. With my liquid glue. And I'm going to need my silicone mat tonight too so I'm going to throw it over there where I won't forget it I tell you I'm doing really well I'm totally off of my oxygen even at night which thrills me to no end uh, I eased off of it during the day and stayed on it a little bit longer at night and eased myself off of it and uh Hi, Bridget. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Pam. Glad you joined us. Oh, uh, anyway, I'm just so glad to be off of it. And I'm going to church, which just thrills me that I'm got to get back in church mm -hmm. because I miss church so very much when I'm not there. And now I've got glue on my fingers. Let me get that off. Anyway, this is what we do with this. So I'm going to, excuse me, <coughs> one of the lingering things with it is a cough. I hate it. It's like I can't quit coughing. <laughs> Anywho, it's just part of the lingering symptoms of it. So I'm sorry if I cough. I'll try not to. But it's just part of it for me. Alrighty, we're going to put, and look at there, can't even get it straight. Let's get this laid down. I'm going to get it as straight as I can. There we go. And then I'm going to put a layer of Costa Cabana right here on the front and get glue all over my glue bottle. That's fine. It always stays gluey. Because <laughs> I always tend to get it all over my fingers. I'm going to scoot that up. Now then, I'm going to do that. I'm going to set that over here. All right, let's go ahead and let's stamp our wells. Yeah, I wrote wells on the back of this one because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was using it for. We're going to stamp our wells in uh, Costa Cabana. I mean, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Shannon. I mean, you know, blue wells. Why not? 
I'll tell you what, when I did this the first time, I stamped my wheels upside down. I've got to make sure I stamp them the right direction this time for my punch. So I'm going to stamp one down here, and then there's something, ah, something on my punch, on my stamp. That's okay. It looks like it's part of the well. <laughs> I'm going to stamp this one this direction. Okay. Then, I mean, you know, blue wells. There's such things. Probably not this color blue, but that's all right. <laughs> I like them. I like them. So, we're going to close this up. Set it right there. We're going to open up our punch, and we're going to punch out our wells. Now, it punches out all this other stuff, but that's, I don't need it. I just want the wells. So... Gonna line it up. This lines up pretty good and pretty easily. And uh, I don't have as I don't have a huge problem with trying to get this lined up as like I do some things. There's some things I can't get lined up real good for nothing. And uh, I made another card that I'll probably show y'all next week that. No matter what I did, I could not get it lined up right. And it has a die with it, and I just can't get it lined up. So, mean punches and dies sometimes don't agree real well, because we can't get them lined up. Okay, I'm going to scoot this up this way out of our way. All right, now then, that's our wells. We're going to set them right up here. I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiments. I'm going to do them in the Memento Tuxedo Black. This one's going to go on the front. Well done. And stamp it as close to the middle as I can because I'm going to punch that out. And our other sentiment. Put on the inside. Let me make sure. Yeah. Move my bone folder out of the way. Okay. I don't have my noggin down there, so I'm hoping this is going to be straight. All right. I love how well they stamp. I mean, these stamps stamp great. I love it. All right, this is my inside. This is the one I'm going to punch. Oops, right there's my punch. All righty, I'm just going to scoot it in here. And I didn't make it wide enough. Let me get me a posty note. I just want to... Hi, Jenny Tucker. How are you? I, tell you, I cannot remember who I learned this from, but I saw somebody doing it on a, on a YouTube video so it's an awesome idea especially when I'm not perfect at cutting my pieces sometimes ha ha all right we're gonna close that one up scoot it out of the way I don't need these all right chuck them in the garbage now then have me a sponge. I'm gonna use my soft sea foam. I'm gonna sponge around my sentiment piece. Lisa Curcio. That's who I was watching and saw her do this technique I'm fixing to show y'all. I knew I'd remember her name. <laughs> All right, let me close this up and get it out of the way because I don't want to s stick anything in it. Okay, now what I'm going to show you. Tissue paper. Just a plain piece of... <laughs> oh, Shannon, you watch her too, don't you? I bet you saw this then. Anyway, this is the piece with this. 
just take a piece of tissue paper. I know I cut this way too big, I just guess. Anyway, white. The one that I used, I used the piece of tissue paper that came in uh, my new Stampin' Up! cutter that was between the plates. And it had like a little design something on it. And I don't know how, what the difference is going to be. Anyway, you scrunch it up, then you unfold it, and then you scrunch it up again. Scrunch it up as tight as you can. And you unscrunch it. Now, hers, she cut this smaller than I cut mine. I'm, I'm a bigger layer person. <laughs> I like small layers, but uh, for something like this, I thought, I want a bigger layer. Anyway, then you... Don't smooth it out. You don't want to lose your wrinkles. All right, you take your silicone mat. And you take your glue. And I'm going to tell you, you got to have a bit of glue here. And I'll probably have to put some more. Let me get a glue wedgie. I have uh, sponges that I cut into the wedges. And they're for me to use. See? glue sponges <laughs> and what I'm going to do is take this and I'm just going to and make sure you get these edges it's these edges that's very important that you get see I told you I was going to have to have more glue oh, you want these edges glued well and you can't dab it because it just messes me up whenever I try to dab it it does better if you uh, just smooth it on. Just a smidgen more. Come on. There it comes. And uh, this is why you need your silicone mat. Because you know how the glue won't stick to it. And it'll dry and you can just roll it right off. Now, I'm going to... I have got it on my fingers. <laughs> anyway... I'm going to take my piece of tissue paper and I'm going to lay it down on here. And don't want any bubbles or anything like that. Just kind of spread it out and let it stick. See? <laughs> Can you see the DSP threw it. Now she did a fall one and her the DSP you died, you met her at on stage two, Shannon. She's a wonderful, nice lady. Anyway, she used fall colors, so you could really, really see it through hers. But in person I can see it. So if you do this and you use this DSP, you'll be able to see it. Anyway, then you're gonna take it and you're going to fold it under like this you want it along these edges good go ahead and uh, crease it in, let's do it this way because you want it to hug these edges here so now what I'm gonna do is take gosh I got glue on top of my fingernail <laughs> Our new stamping seal. Oh, I got an order today and got the stamping seal plus because somebody said they liked it better and that it was easier. But I'm going to go ahead and use my stamping seal. I'm going to get the hang of this thing. At <laughs> some point or another, I'm going to get the hang of this. Okay. And then just pull that tight so it'll hug those edges. And uh, do the sides like this. Pull it, let it hug those edges like that. Now, whenever you get to your corners, fold it like you would if you're just making up a bed or wrapping a gift, you know? And it will be very, a whole lot neater. Now, then I'm going to turn it around and come from this direction because if you try to go over that tissue paper going that way, it doesn't work well. <laughs> I know it does not work well. 
anyway kind of fold it in and let's come in with it tight now I know that I went further than I needed to with the with the uh, tape runner and you know if you want to if you don't want all this excess here you can always cut that off before you start doing this you know and uh, that's okay you just want to make sure that didn't go over my tissue paper well uh, you want to make sure that you have enough to fold under okay alrighty now then because you just want to make sure you know because you got to have this to to fold over to cover the edges of your uh, DSP and, and cardstock now ta-da is that not cool just think about it in <laughs> oh that's right Shannon if anybody's got any of the bonus day coupons you better use them because they're fixing to expire I used mine when I ordered my uh, new machine my new toy as I call her she's my toy <laughs> okay now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to take my soft sea foam and I am going to sponge on let me move this because I'm going to end it with my hand in that glue and that would be terrible and I'm going to sponge on my uh, tissue paper and I just look at that Baby wipe in my container. I used them all and forgot to refill it. Okay. I'll just have soft sea foam under my nail for a little, few days. Say back. <laughs> anyway. Man. When you use a dark color, you want to get some of this off. But this soft sea foam is such a light color. Oh. Uh, it's harder to see on here if you uh, dust any of it off. And I don't want a whole lot to be seen anyway, but I just want to give it a little bit of this color. And this color is not in, in this DSP, and it's okay because I like it. <laughs> I didn't want anything uh, dark. Hi, Kayla. When I was younger, we put tissue paper on our wall going down to the basin. Oh, how <laughs> neat. Oh, I know this is an awesome technique, isn't it, Shannon? I love this. And uh, have any of you watched, uh, let me see, what is her name? She just, a few months ago, got to the two million sales. She does a live face. She does a YouTube live. I'm going to have to try that YouTube live thing. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Sound about first school. Just good, except their internet. So, oh, bless her heart. Brandy, yes. Yes, Brandy. Have y'all watched hers where she used material and covered the cardstock? It's awesome. Now, I have not tried that technique. I, well, yes, Brandy Cox. I, and I probably won't for a while because I won't be going to anywhere to buy material. <laughs> you know, I'm the only place I have been since I've gotten out of the hospital is I went into the post office. That's only because I wanted to talk to my friend. She works there. And uh, I had to mail some stuff. And Johnny prefers I do that stuff. 
and uh, now I'm going to do my seaweed in the soft sea foam and believe it or not you can see it on here and uh, I've been up to the grocery store once and church and that's it I'm just not ready to go anywhere else and go in anywhere else so the only place that I know of around here that sells materials Walmart and I definitely am not going into Walmart <laughs> I have not but one of my team members has been do cutting things that works good. Oh it, and I'll tell you what it looks awesome. She did several different patterns and it just looks awesome. I mean I just loved it. And here I did I forgot to uh stamp my seaweed here. Well, that's not the one I'm going to stamp the seaweed on anyway. It's this one. Ah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can't even remember what I'm doing here. Okay. Yep, this is the direction I want it to go. I'm going to put seaweed here. I know I'm going to, my sentiment piece is going to cover up some of this, but that's okay. I'm going to put it up a little bit higher than normal, but it's still going to cover up some of the seaweed, but it's still here. So... There we go. And see, and this will go right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm stamp seaweed on, excuse me, on my envelope. Tell you what, my daughter has not gotten over here and worked on my computer and getting my Wi-Fi back on my uh, laptop yet. So I, I'm trying to watch. No, I am Debbie. I, I didn't do anything today except... Uh, we had had barbecue chicken for supper last night, and there was three pieces of chicken breast in the package, and uh, one piece I used to make, I told Johnny, I was going to use it to make chicken salad, so it was already cooked, so all I had to do was cut it up and make chicken salad, and I did that this morning, <laughs> and uh, then I came in here and laid everything out for this tonight so i then the rest of the day i have s sit around <laughs> just sit around so but i have been doing a little bit of cleaning i'm doing little things we are walking about um i probably i'm not sure how far it is from here to the beginning of our subdivision it's not even a fourth of a mile <laughs> so uh, we haven't gotten super far but I can't walk super far yet so anyways we're we're getting there it's a progress it's a slow progress but I'm gonna get there because I'm going back to work by the second week or third week of uh, September so, I've got to get my strength up. See, and I'm going to put this just right up here so that I can uh, go back to work. And uh, so, and I miss everybody at work. Don't tea, I really thought I was going to retire at one point. When I was in the hospital, I thought, I'm just going to retire. I'm just going to retire. I just can't go back to work. But, you know, that was, uh, I'm wore out, I'm tired, I don't feel good, I just, you know, that was the me that was talking there. <laughs> so, so now that I feel better in everything, I'm, I want to go back to work. So, uh there's still some things I want to do and retirement would not get me there. So, work it'll be. All right. Now then, just lay this down. Let me make sure I've got it all in the right direction because mm -hmm. I want the front and the inside to match. And just lay this down. You know, you could even pop this up if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Since it's got that tissue paper on it, I'm just going to lay it down. And oh man, glue seeped out. Let me get that. Alrighty. I don't think that's perfectly even. 
but that's okay. I'm not going to fret it. Let me put my little sponge back in my zippy bag and zip it back up. I don't want it to dry out. All right. Now, I don't need the glue. don't need the tape. All I need now, yes, I do need the glue. What did I do with my sentiment piece? And I, huh. Okay, right there. That's, yeah. I've got it in there. This is the front. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what, another thing. <laughs> another thing that is a aftermath. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, of this stuff is forgetfulness. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I forget. I'm telling you. had a small list for Johnny to go to town this morning. There's some things we can't get at the grocery store so he goes to Walmart. And uh, so that's where he had to go this morning. And he comes back with things that I did not have on the list. But it was things that I had told him we needed and when I made the list I couldn't think of them. I couldn't remember them. And that, I'm telling you, I just, my Memory is just not up to par right now, but it'll get there, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just going to cut one of these in two. I don't want to use the mini because I want a little bit more strength behind the tail here. Okay, just like that. Alrighty, I laid my dimensionals out a little different. I need an extra one here. All right. All righty. Take your pick tool. Get a hold of those backings. And you can pop them right off. This is kind of a learning tool. It took me a while to learn how to do this. And to get it right. And look at that, what I did. Man... Come off of there. Let me sit her up there. Those off. But you just put it on there and just kind of flick it. And they just come right off. Ta-da! Now, I learned that from Lisa Curcio. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to put this well right down here. I'm going to put this well about right here. Yep, about right there. And of course, I forgot to put my dimensionals on my sentiment piece. Yep. Two, three. This keeps me from catching the edges of these. Um, dimensionals and getting it up under my nail and making my fingernail it bleed under my fingernail because I'm really good at that. And boy does that hurt. <laughs> so I was glad to learn that technique. Now we're going to use our uh I would have liked to had some of these smaller ones but as you can tell I've used those. <laughs> So, I did not have any. So, um, they they are on my, well, in fact, I have already got them in my basket and my shopping cart. And uh, so I can have some more. I'm doing these a little different. I went straight up with my first card with these, but I'm just kind of take these at a little bit different here. All right. Now then. And here is our card. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. I've got a mess here. Too much stuff here. 
So here is our card and our envelope. Yes, Jenny, I was going to Salt Lake City too. And I had uh, even already put in for my vacation to go. Of course, me being sick would have blown that anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Oops, I forgot to put my tail well, uh, my well tail on here. Let me do that. I have got to have my well tail on this. <laughs> Is it not cute with that well tail? I totally forgot. Let me get my well. But yeah, I was so looking forward to going to Salt Lake City. So looking forward to it. Ta-da! <laughs> Is that going to be cute as it can be? I love it. I love it. Oh. But anyway, like I said, me getting sick would have blown it anyway, so I would not ended up would not have gotten to go. But I am gonna be watching it. <laughs> oh, that's right, Mona. Have to have the whale tail. Yeah. Uh, anyway. If you're a demonstrator, they say, I've heard that they still, as of this earlier today, still had the swag bag available. And I'll tell you what, there was no way was I going to sign up for the virtual and not get the swag bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be able to do um, Robin's thing for her team because I can't get off of that. I called my boss and requested off before I signed up because I was going to make sure that I could be off. So, anyway, I did that. And uh, he told me, yeah. So I signed up. But I can't I can't do Robins. I can't get off that many days. So, but anywho, there is our card for this evening. Ah. Oh. So, I'm glad y'all liked it. Oh. <laughs> Shannon convinced you get the swag bag. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you had not gotten the swag bag, Kayla, you would have beat yourself up saying, why didn't I? <laughs> I just have to tell you that. Because you always get some awesome stuff in their bags. Awesome stuff in their bags. But anyway, here's our card. I'm glad y'all like it. And um, if you don't have this set, get it. It's fun. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to get off of here and go get climb into my recliner and do some relaxing. I am sweating. Johnny Game brought me a little fan in here, but I didn't turn it on because where I have it, we have it sitting, blows across my countertop and right here cools me off, and uh, it would have blown my tissue paper. <laughs> and uh, anywho, y'all have an awesome evening. Get in your crafty room and create. And like I said, if you don't have this set. Get it ordered. It's wonderful. I love it. And I, oh, and I'll tell you what, this is what I got today in my uh, order. Okay. I got the freezing fun. Now, I was not going to order this. <laughs> I saw somebody, I can't remember who, make a card. I'm tell you what, that's part of the problem, sitting in there in my recliner watching YouTube channels. <laughs> and I thought, i got to have it. So I ordered it. So that came today. So I'm, that's going to be played with soon. I've got known the holidays. And I'm uh, known for the holidays. i got to play with that too. Uh, so anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Bridget. Uh, so, y'all have an awesome evening. Have a blessed week. Pray for everybody that's got the coronavirus. I'm going to tell you, we had a gentleman at church that had it, but he didn't have it. He wasn't in the hospital. Uh, a friend of a gentleman that goes to our church, 
he has a friend named John that is on a ventilator. He's been on the ventilator for three weeks. And uh, he definitely needs our prayers. She said yesterday that he was not doing well at all. And she's a physical therapist. And one of her other fellow therapists, her name is Grace, has got the coronavirus. And she was really upset about going in the hospital. And she's not doing well. And, you know, it just breaks my heart because I know how it feels. And I've, now I don't know how it feels about being on a ventilator, but I know how it feels uh, to be so bad that you are in the hospital. And uh, I don't want anybody to have it. it. It's terrible. It's terrible. But anyway, you know, by God's grace, I'm here. And I'm thankful. I'm so blessed. And I'm so blessed to have y'all as my friends. Thank y'all for coming and watching me tonight and encouraging me on my first Monday evening back on live. And it's my plan. If nothing comes up and it's God's will, I'm going to be back here again next Monday evening at 7 Central. We're going to have something else to make. Oh, let me show you a card I made. Jessie came over because it was Erin, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember her last name, had done a card with this um, method and showed it on uh, Pink Stamper. <coughs> Excuse me. Jessie wanted to know how to make it, and I told her if she'd come over because, you know, Jessie's on my team. She'd come over, I would show her. So she came over, and I showed her, and this is the one I made while I was showing her how to make it. And I love this method. And uh, I love this card. <laughs> and uh, so, anyways, it's been a long time since I have made this uh, card with this method. So, I may have to do another Facebook Live with this, doing this. But anyway, y'all have an awesome evening and a blessed week. And, and uh, get in your crafting room and create. And good Lord willing, I will see y'all next Monday evening. I love you guys. Bye.